best for the future. Okay, on to the weather. Alexis is here. As I drove in this morning, it was very, very gusty. Is that set to continue? Yes, it is. For the rest of the day, uh, David, we are going to see quite a gusty wind from the southwest and maybe gusts of up to 55 miles per hour. We've already seen a gust at the needles of 71 miles per hour, causing things like this uh, a fallen tree in Warnford in Hampshire. And we've had the suspension of the red jet heading over to the Isle of Wight. Through the course of today, we are going to see very strong winds, scattered showers in places. Those showers could be quite heavy and they may merge together to form longer spells of rain. You can see the low pressure off towards the northwest and the really tightly packed isobars. That low pressure is bringing us the very strong winds at the moment and they'll continue to be strong this afternoon. So there is a Met Office wind warning of force. Further scattered showers, which could be on the heavy side, the brisk southwesterly winds and gusts are between 45 and 55 miles per hour. But there will be some bright and sunny spells as well. Further heavy showers overnight tonight. They'll gradually ease during the early hours of the morning. The winds tonight won't be as strong as today, but we could still see gusts of up to 45 miles per hour and there will be some patchy cloud, a few clear spells here and there. Tomorrow we are going to see further outbreaks of rain, showers at times, um, some drier weather as well, some sunny spells here and there. Still fairly brisk winds of gusts of up to 40 miles per hour and a high of 21 degrees. So fairly brisk winds over this weekend, but not as strong as today. We'll see the strongest gust today arrive during the afternoon, perhaps up to 55 miles per hour for inland areas and maybe 60 miles per hour along exposed coastal stretches. Sunday will feel slightly fresher. David. Thanks Alexis. Thank you for your company. Take care. We'll see you at 6.30. Bye-bye.